So you're attaching the center beam. Center beam's used a lot uh, for mainly fan installations in certain areas. Granted, talk to a licensed electrician in your area to make sure that you can hang a fan there and how to run the wires and all that good stuff. But in terms of weight capacity, it can hold a fan and some people do that. Obviously not a commercial fan, like a residential uh, wet rated outdoor fan. That would be what most people mount to that. People also do puck lighting recessed in those as well. But either way, installing just the beam itself, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need an additional set of clamps. So two clamps, you're gonna need a right angle driver and a 3 8 drive bit. And that's to be able to reach into that corner and drive it into the center beam. So what you're gonna do here to start is you're gonna mark center on the unit. You're gonna to wanna to measure from each side, find center of the unit and make a mark, transfer that over to the gutter and make a mark on the top lip of that gutter where it's still gonna be visible when you raise that center beam up to match the center line there to the center line on the beam. If you don't wanna mount the beam in the center, you don't have to, you can put it anywhere you want. Just make a mark where you want it and keep it consistent on the other side. So you wanna make sure that basically once you make that mark, then you do the same thing on the other side so that the marks would line up with one another across the unit. Go down to the beam, measure the beam, uh, whether it's an eight inch beam or a 10 inch beam, you're gonna mark halfway, so that's four or five inches, and then you're gonna bring it up to the unit. You're gonna clamp it in place where those marks line up on both sides with one another. Now, two clamps work on each corner, on opposite corners, but four clamps work even better. If you have four clamps, you can clamp all four corners and keep everything really stable. And then you're basically gonna use your driver, the right angle driver with some of those number 14 screws, which are in bag L. And you're gonna drive those with the right angle driver in through the face, uh, the up angle of the gutter, through that into the center beam, which has a U-channel already waiting for it. You're gonna put four screws in that side and then you're gonna to go to the other side, you can put four screws in that side. Then what I would recommend is you to put some caulk on each of those screws on both sides, just to make sure water doesn't leak in behind them if you accidentally angled that screw too incorrectly, and that way you have a relatively sealed connection. Also, if you do plan on putting anything in there in terms of lighting or fixtures, make sure that fan beam is sealed from the top and that means those edges where it meets the gutter on both sides, seal the top of the fan beam, seal the top of the center beam where it meets the gutter on both sides to make sure that no water gets in there. You're not gonna want that if you're gonna be putting things up in that beam. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once you mount those four screws on each side, your center beam is set. So it should be relatively easy. You will find sometimes there's variance in the beam and how it meets those gutters. It's not a perfect fit if we make it too tight. You're not gonna be able to get the beam in place. Uh, if it pulls the gutter out a little bit, it's not gonna be any issue whatsoever. Uh, that's just the tolerances to make sure that you can get the beam up into the space when you attach it. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can obviously reach us at theluxurypergola.com or in the comments below, uh, and we can help you out. You can find our phone number on our website. We'd be happy to talk to you about Centerbeam if you're interested in one or any other questions you might have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.